We got high volt fab in the house. All right, so today is finally the day that we're gonna be putting the Battle Arrow Drift Cart together for the final time. And I think it's gonna go fairly pretty quick since everything's already put together for me one time. And since I've already put it together one time, it's gonna be a lot faster than the second time, or the first time, sorry. We'll just start off with the axle. Alright, so I got the axle in with the four nuts and bolts in place holding the, the bearings. I'm just going to tighten them down and we'll have our axle in place. Socket ratchet. Let me know what you guys think of the color. You guys like the bumblebee color or should I add on any different color? What color would you guys have done? I do want to say a huge thanks to Golden Motor and Battle Arrow for sponsoring this video. The motor is from Golden Motor and frame and everything is from Battle Arrow. So go check them out. I will have links to their websites in the description. Alright, so this is the knuckle. The Battle Arrow's uh, version 2 knuckles where you can use front brakes. Alright. Up going on. Pull right through. Wrench. Oh, way too tight. Other knuckle and bearings. Hands are already dirty. I was just thinking about um, color choice. It's not gonna cl stay clean <laughs> for very long. And that purple and gold, though. Yes, sir. got the heart rotors as far as I know there's only one other person who has these rotors so we got the heart rotors spacers Wheel goes on. Alright, next thing we're gonna throw on oh, yeah. is the steering stem and high rods. I got the second one in. Alright, I'll 
fuck they're on. We got steering, boys. That angle. Washer's ready. One washer on the back. Another washer in the front. Now exciting comes the part. exciting part. The seat. Dun, dun, dun. The seat is so exciting. We do this all the time. But it's threaded. <laughs> That's just a pad rubbing on the brake. Because I have plenty of space between the spring and the thing. But, uh, Gonna bolt it down, and there's a hole right here on the frame where you can fish this whole line through all the way down, and it will come back, we'll come out the back. The wire is here now, but we want it to come out this hole right here. You can cut. Grab an Allen key. Yeah, just grab an Allen key and or any sort of. You could probably hook a hook. Yeah, a lot of people have those hooks, but I don't have one right now, so I'm just using an Allen key. So once you get something like that, pull that wire through. Pull this one all the way through. And the deed is done. It's all wired. I'm really regretting yellow, to be honest, because every little thing is getting it dirty up. Alright, we're on the final step. The golden motor. 5 kilowatt. Just gonna pick this bad boy up. Everything's wired already. Chunky girl. Just hope that this thing does not flip backwards right now. No wait. Yeah, that's good. Swings on. 
Yeah, it's gonna the tension our motor is just like a Predator 212 tension, you know? You can push it forward, but it's loose. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm having him keep tension on my motor so when I tighten it, it won't move and loosen up again. Oh, yeah, that's good tension. <laughs> off your entire order at Golden Motor on their website and huge thanks to Battle Arrow for sponsoring this build as well. Could not be done without them. I will leave links to their websites in my description. Go check them out. Build yourself a new go-kart.